Welcome to Soda Geeks. I'm Devin. I'm Connor. So this week we're going to do Ginseng Up Cola. All natural cola. 100% natural premium ginseng drink with cane sugar. Ginseng is often used for like, it, it's a, it comes from tea. I believe it's derived from tea, but it, it's used as like in energy drinks and stuff. Mm, okay. Along with B vitamins. And so... No preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup. It's actually cane sugar. Do you know what flavor it actually is? Well, it just says cola, right? Ginseng mm -hmm. up cola. It says the root of all power, but I don't think that's referring to necessarily like root beer. It's so. kind of like a reddish color too. It it it's got a hint of. It's of mainly red. brown though. It's also very unusually for a glass bottle like this. It's got a screw off cap, not twist off, but actual screw off. So. And the cap's nice, says the root of all power, ginseng up, so. I assume ginseng is a root. Maybe a ginseng is maybe a root, not root tea. of all. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe that, that's correct. That is a light brown when I'm pouring it out. It does look uh, much lighter than their normal colas. Whoa. I can smell like cola nut type of like mm -hmm. natural scenting, like the stuff you... It smells pretty good though. The way you smell, the way a natural cola smell compared to like Pepsi or Coke, that's what the way this smells. Okay. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's fine. It's like, it's nothing particularly special, but it's good. Yeah, just a regular cola. Mm-hmm. Um, the flavor isn't as strong as some others as far as like the cola nut taste or whatever. It's, it's very fizzy or not really fizzy, more of a, it's more of a cola, not cola nut, but you can still taste the cola nut. It is a little bit, it, it does have quite a bit of fizz to it. So there's, it almost is a little foamy in your mouth when you're drinking it mm -hmm. and then, uh, sweet in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I assume from the sugar. I am getting, after a few drinks, just a bit of an aftertaste that mm. is unusual. I don't know what ginseng tastes like specifically, but it is a kind of a, there is kind of a unusual spiciness to it that's... Mm. I don't know if, um, I know one of our commenters once said, if you normally taste a spiciness in a soda, that that's normally ginger root. Mm. I don't know if that is in this case. It doesn't quite taste the same like that, but. I think I see what you're saying, but it's not that strong. It is not that strong. It's not like a, whoa, I'm being overwhelmed with the spiciness. Like zesty. with the like with that uh, zesty blood orange, like that was spicy. That was like almost like brought Who heat wants to, to drink it. that? Yeah, yeah. It's like if you dumped some Tabasco in your soda or something. That that was weird. Yeah, the. I'll say this though. My first thought was that this was. A good and decent soda. The aftertaste is that that's been building up as I drink it is just odd enough to bring it down a little bit. Really? Yes. I'm I'm kind of getting what you're saying, but not not as bad as you are. Okay. Yeah, it's like right after you take the drink, you can just kind of like feel it. I don't know. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Hmm. I can feel it on my teeth from the pure cane sugar too a little bit, but yeah. Now that I've drunk half of it down, I gotta say I don't think I would buy this one again. Really? Yeah. I think I definitely would. That that aftertaste, whatever I'm tasting, whether it's the ginseng specifically or something else, 
It's just a little odd to me. And like you said, not real strong. Yeah. But it is just enough there that that I'm not digging it. I think it's pretty good. It's equivalent to that weird spiciness in the um, feisty cherry, cherry Pepsi uh, Coke, uh, Diet Coke. No way. And that it had a little bit of spice, not as much as the blood orange, but still a little bit. That's the, the equivalent of this to me. I really, I don't even think it's even close to that, to the cherry. Because <clears throat> that one was more like noticeably like that. Um. <sighs> all right, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate this a, a two point five. Really? Yeah. Yeah, just because I don't, it, it like started out good, but I'm not liking how it's finishing, and so I would not recommend it. I would not do it again. So it's a two point five. Uh, I'm kind of in between a three point five and a three, but I think I'm just gonna go with three. Passing, and it's a good soda, but not quite three point five. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, uh. Yeah. Not quite two point five. All right, so uh, quick episode. No, it, it I, you know, I've got a couple other little things like we can talk about, but uh, for example, I didn't. I said I probably wouldn't buy any more of those flavored diet cokes, but in fact, I did buy more of the twisted mango. That that is a, a good flavor. It is decent. So I I saw another eight pack and picked it up. That was um, the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah. It, it is. It's good. It's a nice, you know, with my, like, vanilla Coke Zeros and uh, and occasional cherry Coke Zeros and other stuff I drink, it's just an occasional nice splash of flavor, I think. It, I think it will be. I haven't had one of those yet. Really? Um, since I bought, bought the new pack. Uh, but, yeah. So, it, but it tantalized me enough to, to buy another one. Um, what about sodas lately? Have you enjoyed anything unusual or new lately? Nope. I will say that the commissary was out of, for, for work this week, I was going to buy my normal Monster Ultra Blacks, but... So you went to the Kickstarts? I bought mostly Kickstarts, but they were out of them, so I bought mostly Kickstarts, and I bought one, which I think I've only had once before... One uh, Mountain Dew Black Label. That's a good one. That is a really good one. I do. Enjoy I remember that. liking that one. I'm not a Mountain Dew fan, but I remember liking the Black Label one. Yeah, it's good. It, it's it's like a more of a cherry, right? Mm -hmm. Or, it's or, or like fruit a or raspberry. Yeah, yeah, something. Like yeah, that. or yeah, some kind of punch or something. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really good. I remember and liking it. When it was pouring out into the ice, maybe, I don't know, it was weird. The foam started turning, the drink oh, was like was... purple, and the foam started turning like blue. It was really weird. Yes, I do and remember it wasn't, that. It wasn't like a sort of off, like whatever blue. It was, it was, it was blue. pretty vivid. Yeah. Um, I almost didn't pick it up because it's like full calories. And normally, really? yeah, like normally, like the even the... Uh, even the Kickstart is only like 70 calories. And the really? Ultra, I expected them to be way up And there. the Ultra Black is like zero calories. So, and this is full, but, so I only bought one. I didn't buy a bunch. Nice. But, <sighs> I think that's it. Yep. All right. Um, you can email us, sodageeks at gmail.com, or just leave, uh, you know, even better is just leave a comment uh, on the video. Uh, yep. Until next... <laughs> and until next time, we encourage you to enjoy a nice soda this week.